Hey everybody, welcome to FCRB TV. Uh, it's a great day to be a gunner. Um, it's pretty been, been a pretty good weekend as uh, Arsenal beat Watford today at the Emirates 3 0, and Peter Cech earned his 200th clean sheet in the Premier League with a penalty save, first ever for Arsenal, first time he saved the penalty for Arsenal against Troy Deeney. So, uh, it's a great mood um, in the stadium today. It was still a little empty. You know, people are still protesting, but we're gonna, I'm going to get to that in a minute. But um, I think that this is um, a turning point in the season for us, a turning point back in the positive direction for us because we had a turning point earlier on where things went spiraling out of control and we're still trying to, you know, rectify that. And uh, midweek against Milan and now at home to Watford, we, uh, we've scored five goals, kept two clean sheets, and um, we were looking on the up. So, um, you know, I think that uh, we, we played very well today. We, the commentators said that, uh, you know, they felt that we answered the, um, the physicality of Watford quite well. In the first half, I think that Watford weren't as physical as they could have been. And uh, we got to do our thing and, and, and create chances. And uh, Mustafi scored a fantastic header off the free kick. Um, early similar to the header he scored against Tottenham on November 18th. Um, so yes, yeah, so um, great, uh, great goal to start, open it up for Arsenal. And uh, we should have gone 2-0 uh, up through Aubameyang, uh, the second opportunity he had in the first half, where we broke through on their right-hand side. Kalasnach gets in, Kalasnach gets in, squares it, back post, and uh, I don't know how he didn't get on the end of it, but he was late and he missed it. Um, they had a few chances. Check made a big save. Um, and then uh, right after the big save, we came down and Ozer could have made it 2-0 again. Um, but uh, their keeper made a big save as well. Um, but uh, I tell you, um, first half we were, we were pretty much in control. Second half, I felt uh, Watford came out and wanted to batter us a little bit more. Um, they wanted to, to, to uh, see if we had any cojones or not. Um, so uh, they try to you know get after us a little bit more. Um, I thought we answered that well. But I think that we really got to play our game today. And I think it was very uh, similar. And it was a continuation of what we did in the San Siro on Thursday night. We kept the ball, made it move. And we, we looked like a really good side, you know. Uh, I love Mkhitaryan's energy. I love the way he gets on the ball. When he gets it, he starts to, to drive forward looking for a pass. I love it. And then through that, you know, close control, driving forward, he finds his boy from Dortmund, uh, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, to make it 2-0. Um, good goal. And then, rightfully so in the end, they link up again. And... Uh, this time it's Obama Yang servicing uh, Mkhitaryan to make it 3-0. Uh, I thought that we were good. I thought I thought Wenger needs credit for fantastic squad selection. El Nenny came into the team. It will be came into the team. Uh, obviously, Obama Yang is in because he's cup tied. He wasn't able to play on Thursday night. Um, and I like um, uh, Ainsley Maitland-Niles at right back. The guy's phenomenal. This kid is going to be so awesome for us because he can play anywhere on the pitch. He could play six, he could play eight, he could play two, he could play three, he could play he could play seven or eleven. I bet he could play ten too if they let him. He could play anyway. He, I, the only place I think he'd struggle is nine or goalkeeper. Because <laughs> he doesn't look that big. So but I think he's a phenomenal kid. I think he's a good player. And uh it was nice to see him out there right back. I thought Kalasanak was good. I thought Mustafi was dope. Um but uh, it was all, all in all, it was a great performance by Arsenal. We really, I think we dealt with Watford well. I, I don't think that Watford were on cruise control. They really wanted to come and do something, but we didn't let them. And uh, I think that it's a turning point. And when I say a turning point, I think the two things that transpired, one in the game, well, I saw it after the game, and then one thing that happened yesterday. And what I'm getting at is... Um, the West Ham game, what happened there between West Ham and Burnley, how the fans protested during the game and they went mad and they went on the pitch and they were yelling at the owner and all that stuff and distracting the, the players, disrupting the game, frightening small children, all that stuff. Um, I think that um, with that having happened and then after the game I saw on social media a sign that was in the Emirates 
and it was the um, the sign said never gonna give you up and it was uh, you know they're singing the song never gonna give you up never gonna let you down never gonna run around and hurt you I think that is phenomenal that whoever made that sign big ups to you and I think that with what happened at West Ham and with that sign there us on a two game winning streak we the fans need to come together Come together and never give up on our lads. Whether Bellerin's playing well or not, you know, yeah, we could give him a rollicking, but we're going to be back in for him. We got to have their back. I say midweek when Milan comes to town and we score that first goal, we the whole stadium should sing that, whole, sing that song. Let, let the whole world know that the Arsenal supporters are behind the Gunners. If we can rally around these guys we've got, we can win the Europa League. We can catch Chelsea. We need to come together. And we need to show that, hey, you know what? We do our thing. We, we rant and we rave. We demand change. We, we demand a certain level, a certain standard. But at the end of the day, we're going to be backing our players, backing our team. You know what I mean? We, we're all entitled to our opinion. But at the end of the day, we're gunners. We need to stick together. And I think that we need to come together at this moment. The guys are starting to get the... Get, the, get the, 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 the wheels rolling again. Let's go for it. We're going to have Milan on Thursday come to town. Let's smack them 3-4-0, send them back to Serie A, and get ready for the quarterfinals. That's what we need to do, man. We need to come together. I'm feeling it right now. I'm loving, I'm loving Arsenal right now. I never stopped loving, though. I was, I was hurt when we were going through our bad patch. Because, I, I mean, I really think that we... Have a good squad. We, we there's something certain things that we are missing. I don't think that we have any hard men in the team. I think we're a team full of passers. Everybody's a silky dude. Even our center backs are silky dudes. You know what I mean? So we do struggle in that department. But aside that, we on our day we need to back our players and uh, you know never give them up. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, Happy for Peter Check that he got the, uh, the the shutout today, and he saved Troy Deeney's pen. And and when they called the pen, when they called the pen, I knew Check was gonna save it. People are gonna be like, oh yeah, sure, you said that, yeah, yeah, blah blah blah. I, I I promise you, on my mother, and my father, I promise you, when they called the pen, I knew he was gonna save it because it was it was written in the stars from when Troy was talking that nonsense back at Vicarage Road, and then since then, Check ain't saved a PK since then. He ain't saved a PK for us yet. So it was, it, was, it was all lined up for Czech to save it today. So when Czech saved it, I just sat there and laughed because it was, it was what, the ball don't lie. It was all set up perfectly, and he saves the pen against the guy who was talking the most trash, and he gets his 200th shutout. So that was sweet. And I, I, I'm a, I like Troy Deeney. I like, I, I like how he goes about it. He didn't mess up, though. Listen, I, I like some people, but once you talk about the gunners and you don't have – any really ground to stand on, like you're just talking rubbish, I'm done with you. I'm done. Well, not done. I'm just like, Troy, you, you, you done said too much. You need to be quiet now. You know what I mean? And that's what happened. He got, he got you know, 3-0. Shut out. You can't say too much now. You know? So, uh, happy for uh, Check. Happy for all the gunners around the world. My man, Mo. My boy, my, my boy Claude. Troops and them. Yeah, y'all happy now, right? Lee Mark Judges. All you guys are happy now. Yeah, man, and the other, the other lead too. The other lead too. He be talking truth on on Arsenal fan TV. So uh, yeah, and Chris, I know Chris gonna put up some style. Arsenal, Chris is gonna put up some stat talking about how we're the best team in Europe. Keep going, Chris. I know people getting mad at that, but keep going, baby. Uh, but I tell you, it was a it was a good match today. Um, I'm buzzing. Um, uh, my 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 clubs played uh, decent ball last night. We played a three four three last night with our U13 team, and they did well. Came out the gates two nil up. Played well, didn't end well, but uh, they played well overall. And uh, the three four three worked, man. We 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 try, We have three guys up front, put people under pressure, so it was good. So it's been a good weekend for me. The Arsenal um, are are looking looking right. We're we're heading in the right direction. I do believe, depending on how we finish off Milan, who we get in the quarterfinals, I think we got to continue to go in the prem. I think the squad is big enough to continue to push on both fronts to win as many games in the Prem and win the Europa League. We need to go down both both roads in, at the same time and get as get as many points as possible and win, win, win. And I think we can do it. You know, I, I, we just got to back the team. And I'm telling you, that sign 
saying they never they're never gonna give 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 them up. I think that the players they the players today they need that type of love, man. They need they need all kinds of love. So as much criticism as we give, we got to give them love too. And with all that's happened on the weekend, we've got to galvanize, come together. And give these guys some love on Thursday night. So all you cats in London who have been boycotting, didn't go to the last two games, come on out and go to the game Thursday night. Go for me, because I can't make it. I'm way too far away. Okay? So go to the game Thursday night at the Emirates when AC Milan, seven-time European champions, come to town, even though they're not playing like it. They're way off base on that. But when they come to town and we score that first goal, let's, 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 let's tune it out. Never gonna give you up. We gotta do it, man. I bet you Bella might cry. Like, yeah, they love us, man. We gotta do it. All right. So, Arsenal fans, let's let's come together. We gotta keep going because we still have a lot to play for in the season. The boys are great today. I'm pumped up, g'd up, proud to be an Arsenal gunner. And uh, yeah, it's a short one today because we had a little one yesterday. And uh, you know what? We, it was it was it was uh, you know straightforward business today for the Arsenal. So uh, we just prepare for um, uh, uh, the Europa League second leg against Milan. Uh, I'll be back by then. Uh, depending on what goes on MLS today, I may be back, may not be back. But um, we're going to be watching those games. And, uh, yeah, man, it's footy all the time. So uh, enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And um, best of luck in the week, all right? Subscribe. FCRB TV. Ciao.